what is up guru gang if you are new welcome to my channel and if you have been a part of the gang thank you so much for coming back and clicking on to today's video today we will be talking about more body mists that smell like perfumes if you guys have been subscribed i have already done two of these um so definitely check those out if you have not seen them i will link them up top in the cards but these are going to be more fall themed body mists so most of them are from Bath & Body Works, but I do have a couple from Sol de Janeiro as well as a couple from Victoria's Secret. And my goal in creating these videos, you guys, is to help those of you who may be looking for perfumes, to help build your collection. I get tons of comments all the time that pretty much tell me you guys don't have a huge, massive perfume collection and that is totally okay, that is totally fine. But if you want some recommendations and you don't know where to start, what better place to start than with a perfume that smells like one of your favorite body mists, you know? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. The first body mist we're going to start with you guys is In The Stars. This is a classic, a cult favorite. Either you love it or you hate it. And honestly, y'all, when I first smelled in the stars, I did not like it. Around that time, I also <laughs> did not like the smell of Baccarat Rouge 540. And I have since come around. My perfume taste has changed. And I actually really, really enjoy in the stars now. It's just very, very sweet, very likable. But it also has kind of this cologne vibe in a feminine way. Very similar in scent to Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as to Cloud by Ariana Grande. And I think what sets this apart from Baccarat Rouge 540 and makes it a lot more feminine leaning is the sugared tangelo that is in here. And I really do smell that. If you are looking for something that is just as sweet as in the stars that still has that Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA, but is a little sweeter and is a little bit more feminine leaning in my opinion, then I definitely think you should check out Amber Rouge by Orientica. This bottle, you guys, is just absolutely gorgeous. This is also one that I recently spoke about in my Middle Eastern fragrances that you need for fall video. So if you have not seen that, definitely check it out. But y'all, this just smells, to me, this just has a little bit more of a sweetness, a caramelly, sticky vibe going on. I think it's just a combo of the saffron and the ambergris. It just smells super sexy. This is also a massive compliment getter. Like, you cannot wear this and not get a compliment. So if you really want to turn up your other fragrances a notch or turn up any of your body mist, honestly, this is an amazing base. This is just going to give your fragrances that perfumey, sexy, mysterious quality that Baccarat Rouge 540 has. And I just absolutely love this, you guys. So this is definitely an amazing dupe. If you do not want to spin the Baccarat Rouge 540 or extract coins, you can definitely pick this up. And you guys know I will have it linked in the description box below. The next body mist on the docket is Midnight Amber Glow. This was a release from last year's fall collection and you either loved it or you hated it. I absolutely loved this. This was like one of my favorite body mists that we saw last year. So this one has notes of smooth amber, caramel latte, and vanilla bourbon. And y'all, this just smells like a perfumey, caramelly vanilla fragrance. You do get a hint of a coffee note, but it's honestly more in the background. It's just more of a supporting role. And this just smells so good, y'all. It just has that perfect balance between that kind of perfumey amber, which amber and caramel and fragrances, they just always work together because they both kind of play up on that sticky syrupy quality. But then this one also has the addition of that vanilla bourbon. And it just smells so sexy. I just absolutely love this one. It has gotten a lot stronger as well. So I've gone through like two or three of the little mini perfume pins of this scent. So this is now all I have left, unfortunately. But the fragrance that I think it smells almost spot on to you guys is Dolly Parton's Tennessee Sunset. Now I do have an entire review dedicated to this range. There are four other perfumes in this line. And this is just by far my favorite. So this one only has three notes. It has vanilla orchid, honeysuckle, and musk. And for me, what I am getting the most of is that vanilla orchid and that musk. Vanilla orchid is one of those florals that can lean very gourmand smelling. And that's absolutely what I get in here. I get this sweet powdered, almost powdered sugar vanilla smell mixed with the musk. And it just smells so good so sensual it absolutely reminds me of just the perfect like fall sunset fall afternoon and it just smells 
so good y'all this is also a compliment getter as well and it just amazed me how closely it smells to midnight amber glow like dolly did her thing with this one y'all this easily could be something that smells like a niche fragrance to me and this is just super affordable like you can either find this at your local walmart you can get it from amazon of course whichever one y'all decide i will have it linked in the description box but i just absolutely love this scent y'all and i will be getting a ton of wear out of her this fall body mist on the docket y'all is sweet whiskey this is an older packaging of sweet whiskey but they have since re-released it this year so if you have never smelled it definitely recommend you guys check it out i don't know which version they released this year because there are two different versions there is one that has more of a berry note and then there's one that has more of an apple blossom note so this particular one that i have here is the one with the sweet apple blossom but the other notes are golden amber and vanilla infused whiskey and y'all this just if i had to pick one bath and body works mist that truly smells like a niche fragrance, it would absolutely be sweet whiskey because it has this boozy sweetness mixed with this touch of fruity, just ambery fruits, if that makes sense. Almost like a fruity, ambery syrup in a way. And then you mix that with the boozy whiskey and that sweet vanilla, y'all. This smells so good. I always get a compliment on this and it reminds me so much of one of my favorite fragrances from Mansara, which is Amber Fever. You guys, I absolutely love this. This is definitely one of my favorite Mansara fragrances. This has caramel, this has tonka bean, it has hazelnut, it has whiskey, which is one of the most important notes in here, I feel. And it reminds me of basically a less fruity, more perfumey version of sweet whiskey so if you were to take out that apple blossom in that berry note that kind of makes it super super sweet this is basically what you are left with so you are left with that caramelly almost kind of dry whiskey like think if you were to take a shot of whiskey that kind of dry sweetness that is left in your mouth that is what this smells like to me there's also some jasmine and some rose in here which makes it a little more feminine leaning but this is also absolutely a unisex fragrance the first couple of times i did wear it i actually felt it leaned a little too masculine on me but i've learned you guys with mancera fragrances specifically they do get sweeter over time especially if there is like a caramel note or a vanilla note in there they just tend to age really really well so it just leans a lot more feminine and sexy on me i wore this to a concert this summer y'all this i i was getting compliments left and right like when i got out of the car the valet man asked me what i was wearing when i got into the concert both people on either side of me were asking me what i was wearing so this is definitely a compliment magnet super sexy honestly you could do this year round because even though it has that boozy whiskey note i still feel like it has this light airiness about it and I just love this, y'all. I just absolutely love it. So you can get this pretty discounted. I have it linked, of course, but I think I have this on my Joma Shop landing page. So if you guys don't know what Joma Shop is, basically you can get a bunch of niche designer fragrances for super, super discounted prices, and they're always having sales. So I will have my landing page in the description box as well as a direct link to this because I think this is on my landing page anyway. <laughs> absolutely love this, you guys. If you love sweet whiskey and you want a more perfumey, sexy, grown-up version, Highly recommend checking out Amber Fever. This next body mist, another cult favorite, another cult favorite, you guys, and I absolutely love this. 100% smells like, again, something that would come from a niche fragrance house. This is Bonfire Bash. Bonfire Bash has notes of vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. And I find like a lot of, a lot of body mists that have vanilla bourbon in them, they just have that perfumey, sexy vibe, especially when you combine it with sandalwood. And this just smells like a smoky, rich vanilla that literally, to me, I get a marshmallow note. Like, I don't know if there is some marshmallow note that they never listed, but to me, this smells like some sort of roasted, ooey gooey vanilla marshmallow mixed with like a creamy sandalwood and then that musk in the background. <sighs> Y'all, this just, this just smells so good, so incredible. And it absolutely reminds me a little bit of Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. It definitely gives me that vibe. However, another fragrance that I absolutely love that was one of my most worn fragrances last year. If you never saw that video, I will link that as well. Um, this was just a love for me last year so much and I cannot wait to pull it back out. But 
that is commodities milk expressive y'all this is one of the most delicious marshmallow tonka woody sexy musky fragrances and this is strong she is strong she's beast mode i would say for me this one is heavier on kind of that woody musk this also has the addition of milk which makes this smell a lot more almost kind of frothy and thick and lactonic in a way so this is like bonfire bash on steroids literally like it's bonfire bash on steroids it does not have as much of a smoky quality as bonfire bash it just comes across a lot smoother with that milk note there is marshmallow your tonka bean so you have a little bit of that powdery sweetness and it just smells so good y'all it smells so good i love this one y'all know i've been talking about this so much i emptied um i had like a little travel spray that i emptied of this then i had to purchase the little bottle so i absolutely love this and highly recommend if you are a fan of bonfire bash next two body mists i decided to do together um because the perfume i'm going to compare them to they both give me the same similar vibe so the first one is victoria's secret bare vanilla golden this is a sugary powdery tonka slightly floral version of bare vanilla and it just gives me something buttery something rich something almost kind of caramelly i really just think it's the way that they have done the tonka it's almost kind of like a roasted caramelized tonka bean and then you have orchid blossom which orchid blossom and vanilla orchid for me always again lean super super sweet almost gourmand florals and then of course you just have the original bare vanilla dna which already smells incredible i also had to bring in my beloved chirosa 71 y'all look i finally got the huge bottle of this you guys if y'all have watched any of my empties i have gone through like two or three of the small ones of this this year and i mean this is absolutely my favorite chirosa scent like truly this is number one for me if you are a gourmand lover and you have never smelled this get your hands on it please okay and i will have a link to um where you can pick up the large size because for whatever reason this is the only one that sephora does not sell in the large size i don't know why because i personally feel like this would fly off the shelves i could have two or three backups of this huge one and still go through it that is how much i use this scent it just it just adds the perfect gourmand factor to any fragrance combo if you feel like it's not sweet enough and it's just a 10 out of 10 absolute compliment getter if you are a woman and you wear this men will absolutely be sniffing your neck like following you so be careful girl this one is dangerous perfume that both those mists remind me of is a newer one to my collection that i just recently hauled so i will include that haul in the links as well but it is imaginary authors whiff of waffle cone you guys when i first picked this up I said that it reminded me of an ice cream shop like the freshly baked waffle cones and I still feel that way but the more that I have worn this the more I am getting that orgeat. So the notes that are in here are vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amiris orgeat, saigon, cinnamon, and ice cream shop. For me this smells more like the actual dry waffle cone literally you get this kind of dry crunchy feeling this dry crunchy smell like if you were to bite into a freshly baked waffle cone but then you get a little bit of that caramelly syrupy vibe you get some of that butteriness from the actual waffle cone like the bready aspect of it but then i'm also getting the orgeat basically what orgeat is you guys it is a syrup that is commonly used in a lot of cocktails but it's composed of sugar water almonds and a lot of times people will steep it in rose water or some other type of floral water um and i get a lot of that in here so i'm going to talk more about that in an updated like reviewing perfumes in my collection like reviewing new perfumes in my collection i'm going to talk more about that in another video but that definitely is starting to stand out a lot more to me and it absolutely reminds me of both of these because these both even though they are heavily gourmand fragrances they have these soft sweet florals in the background so with chirosa 71 it's that coconut blossom that you get in the dry down and with bare vanilla golden it is that orchid blossom so again they're very sweet florals they are still there they're present but they just add to the overall sweetness of the fragrances and just add something a little soft a little powdery 
but they're still mostly just gourmand fragrances and that's exactly how i feel about this perfume so i still highly recommend it if you are a fan of either of these two fragrances like it smells amazing i just was not expecting that florally type of vibe to creep through i still think it makes it a beautiful fragrance and it's still a gourmand for the most part so it's gonna be from victoria's secret you guys this is from victoria's secret pink and this is i don't know if they have brought this one back already or if it's permanent or what again y'all i have been on a no buy from bath and body works and victoria's secret since like the spring i don't know when i'm going to break it i don't feel the need to right now but this was from last year and this is the basic vanilla now when i first got this y'all i was really not a huge fan of it like if you guys remember that haul i was just not really feeling it but I have come around to it a lot more and I don't know if it's because it's gotten stronger or if I'm just liking the scent profile a lot more lately, but it's notes of vanilla marshmallow and warm chai. And for me, what I am getting is a very powdery marshmallow and y'all know I love my sweet powdery fragrances, but I'm getting a very powdery sweet marshmallow, but I'm also getting kind of like this frothy, milky, foam kind of vibe that you would smell on top of like a chai latte like the sweetness from that cream and then a little bit of the spices that is what i'm smelling but overall it is definitely a very powdery creamy kind of lactonic vanilla reminded me so much of vanille extreme by comptoir sud pacifique and this one y'all she's super affordable okay she's super affordable so again i will have it linked but i think there are only like four notes in here and then there's just a bunch of vanilla in the top notes the middle notes and the base notes this has notes of milk sugar and there's also heliotrope and that is another floral that i really do gravitate towards because it has this vanilla almond leaning scent profile and it always adds that creamy powdery almost a little bit nutty type of vibe to fragrances and that is what i get in here it absolutely has that same powdery milky feel as the basic vanilla and this is just a bomb layering fragrance so if you have a fragrance that you want to add more vanilla to more creaminess to with a little bit of that powdery like powdered sugar dusting type of vibe if you will this is something that i would layer with the whiff of waffle cone because i feel like it was lacking that actual ice cream note that it said was listed so i think overall that with this would give me a straight up ice cream cone instead of just the cone so yeah if you are a fan of victoria's secret basic vanilla i definitely think you should check out vanille extreme next one you guys is a repeat from one that i did in my first video like this but i wanted to go ahead and include it because i told you guys in that video that i did not want to commit to a full-size bottle of that perfume because the longevity was not that great but i have found a way to make it work for me and that is blush cardigan by bath and body works this straight up smells like a powdery lipsticky raspberry floral if this is also beast mode for a fine fragrance mist like this is one of the strongest longest lasting fragrance mist so they came out with this collection as well as like wrapped in vanilla i want to say last year around sas like sometime around the holidays so let's hope they bring this collection back y'all because i would definitely grab more of this as well as wrapped in vanilla they both aged so well and they have just gotten so much stronger and that is definitely the vibe that i get in here it's very powdery it has that cosmetic-y lipstick -y feel so super light and fruity so it kind of smells like a raspberry sweet tart in a way mixed with like powder <laughs> that's what it smells like mixed with a powdery lipstick so this absolutely reminded me juliet has a guns lipstick fever so this one same same vibes blush cardigan has notes of sweet raspberries sugar dip violet and warm amber and lipstick fever also has those purple florals so there is violet there's iris but this also has patchouli vanilla and raspberry and for me i don't really get a ton of patchouli what i basically get you guys is that same very sweet powdered raspberry with that kind of thick lipstick powdery vibe and i absolutely love that if you are one of those weirdos like me that likes the smell of lipstick 
like old school lipstick that had that sweet vibe, you definitely need to check this out. And I have been layering this with my Dias and Durga's I Don't Know What. Um, it's kind of like a fragrance enhancer. I will have that linked as well because you can pick that up from Lucky Scent and I do have a code with them. You can just use my social handle, Boho Guru, and I think you get like 10% off, I'm pretty sure. But you can also get a bunch of samples of stuff on there too if you don't want to commit and the discount does still work on the samples. So just throwing that out there. But I absolutely love this, you guys. I went ahead and got a full size because... They were having a sale on this on Joma Shop, which I think it is still on sale. So I will have it linked so you don't have to purchase it full price from Sephora because it's crazy expensive in there. But I think the main difference between the two is that this one has a lot more richness, more thick, a lot more viscous because this is a perfume. But I definitely smell more raspberry and more of that iris in here. And I just think it's beautiful. This is a beautiful fragrance and I cannot wait to put this on my tray and get some wear out of her. Another Sol de Janeiro scent. This one is definitely the one out of all of the Sol de Janeiro scents. This one definitely smells the most perfumey in my opinion. Absolutely love this. Absolutely love this, you guys. This is such a sexy plum amber vanilla woods combo and it just smells so good. I always get a compliment on this as well. And I know a lot of the fragrance girlies have been comparing this recently to Dama Bianca by Zhirzhoff and I can kind of see that vibe as well. If you want a more affordable option that I personally think smells a little bit closer to this scent profile, I highly recommend checking out Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. So for me, these basically smell like fraternal twins. And here you get a very ambery, almost caramelized plum with the vanilla woods in the background but then in here you're going to get a very sweet caramelized pear with that same kind of ambery vanilla woody vibe and this is sexy y'all this is so sexy but i would say to try this on skin because it is a percentage of people that say when they put this on they smell like tires or cigarettes like i don't know on me this is so cozy so strong like the scent bubble is amazing it lasts forever on me and this never 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 fails to give me a compliment especially y'all when i layer this with vanilla 28 listen girl this is so so amazing and this brand is pretty affordable in sephora in comparison to a lot of other brands that they sell in there so I do actually want to make an effort to finish this bottle this fall and winter just because I've had it for a little while and I know with these more clean perfume brands, they do typically go bad a lot faster. They use cleaner ingredients. So I want to make a mission to try my best to finish this up sometime before the spring next year. But I absolutely love this, you guys, and it's just an amazing fragrance. If you have also smelled Swiss Arabian's Casablanca, this gives me similar vibes to that as well. So yeah, that is Vanilla Woods and Charosa 40. Speaking of Vanilla 28, let's go ahead and move into the next one. So this is Chai Latte from Victoria's Secret. This one has notes of chai spices and brown sugar. And I loved this one last fall, you guys. Like, it just smells so good. I literally get this caramelized brown sugar with kind of like this nutmeg cinnamon vibe, which I'm assuming is the chai spices, but that is exactly what it smells like to me. It's just a very spicy, sweet fragrance. Of course, it reminded me of none other than the brown sugar spicy sweetness of Kayali's Vanilla 28. This is a fave of mine, y'all. This is a love. So many of the fragrance girlies have her as a layering staple and that is exactly what she is. This is not your typical boring linear vanilla. This has some sexiness to it. There are some florals, there's that brown sugar and it just has that very sweet, spicy, intoxicating quality. And she just layers beautifully with literally everything. Like I have not done a combo with Vanilla 28 and not loved it. So there's that. If you are looking for a fragrance to start your collection, this is one of those fragrances for me. Like this could be one of your main go-to signature scents. This is absolutely signature scent worthy. But unfortunately, since so many people love it, of course that makes it a lot less unique because so many people know about it. But 
I would highly recommend layering this with any fragrance that you want to add some sweetness to, a sexy, seductive vibe to, because this is a scent that men literally drool over. Like every time I have worn this, no matter what I wear it with, it automatically makes it 10 times sweeter, 10 times sexier, and you will 100% get a compliment every single time. Last one on this list, y'all. I know I said I was doing fall scents, and this is technically one of Bath & Body Works Christmas scents, but honestly, the only thing Christmassy about this is the name for me, y'all. That is Bath & Body Works Christmas Cookies. Now, do not let the name fool you, you guys, seriously, because Christmas Cookies has notes of creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. And what I get the most, you guys, is this very doughy almond, almost kind of like a marzipan kind of vibe with a hint of a woody caramel background. Like I barely get the woody vibe. It's more so just a slight drizzle of caramel. But to me, y'all, this is just a very almond heavy fragrance. Like think those kind of Play-Doh-y scents. If you um, like Italica by Zhirzhov, that is another like niche fragrance I could compare this to, but she just smells great, y'all. She just smells great. I loved it when it first came out. I still love it now. But a super, super, super affordable fragrance that you can pick up that gives me the same exact vibe that has amazing performance for the price. Silver Moon by Pacifica. This one literally only has three notes, which are vanilla, almond, and spice. I gotta spray this on today, y'all, because it just smells so good. If you are a sweet, almond vanilla lover like me oh my god and you love that kind of like play-doh-y marzipan vanilla almond smell this smells so good y'all and this every time i have worn this it has lasted me a good four to five hours for this to only be like 17 dollars girl like run and buy this pacifica as a whole is just a really great affordable perfume line and i do have an affordable perfume video coming up y'all so stay tuned for that that should actually be my next video because i know a couple of you guys requested that and it's on the way girl it's on the way but y'all this is just top 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 of the line like for 17 dollars if you like the scent profile i just described and you like christmas cookies i highly recommend checking this out you can pick this up at target at ulta on amazon so whatever links i have girl i will have them in the description box for y'all but to me, the only thing that makes this different from Christmas cookies is that caramelly woody factor. This is just more of that creamy vanilla almond, but it still smells amazing and I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's body mist that smell like perfumes video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any of these, smell them. Let me know what you guys think, how y'all feel about them. Come back, report back if you buy any of these. I love when y'all let me know, like y'all have tried things that I recommend and y'all end up liking them. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!